good afternoon. You know, uh, before I typed whatever I've typed on top there, I had uh, a very vicious uh, title. Uh, it was going to be explosive. I was going to say a lot of things. I was just going to bust out. Because really these days, uh, things are not going on, are not going so well. They're not going so well, starting with myself and so many other people. This is a fact. This is a fact. Uh, I know the praise singers and the new dawn want to believe, or they want us to believe that things are okay. No, things are not okay. Things are not okay. Let us not pretend. Let us not pretend. Uh -uh. Let us not pretend. These guys, they are lost. Starting with the president himself. President Hakainde Ichirema, he is lost. He is lost. He doesn't even know where to stay. He doesn't even know where to stay. Just starting from there. He doesn't even know where to stay. He doesn't even know which office. Which is, if you ask President Hakainde Ichirema to say, where is your office? Where is your office? I don't think the man knows where his office is. Because sometimes he's working from home. You see him working from home and meeting people home. <laughs> you see that. And then, you know, back and forth, he doesn't know if he should turn that state house, if he should move in into in Nkwazi. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's lost just on where to stay. Just on where to stay, the president doesn't know. He doesn't know which is his official house. He doesn't know which is his official house. Because, as it were, you know, when you, when you assume certain offices, they go, uh, there is the decorum and procedures and the structure that is around it. Imagine, I mean, some of you have been saying, no, 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 it's okay for him to live uh, in community house. My brothers and sisters, let's be real. These jobs, when you aspire for them, they come with a baggage which you have to assume, even if you don't like it. Look at uh, Donald Trump. Eh? Look at Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a filthy rich man with uh, the Trump Tower. Trump Tower, which is nothing compared to White House. Nothing. But when he became president... He had to move into White House because that's the official, that is the official residence for the president. Our HH, six months down the lane, down, uh, the lane of presidency, he doesn't know whether he should continue being at community house and be going back and forth. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Forget about the useless answers being given by Wana Lumango. No, we don't have money to renovate whatever, whatever. Come on. This is a house where people were living in. Eh? Ed Galungo was just living in there. All these other presidents, they have lived in there. So, how dilapidated, how dilapidated is Nkwazi house that Wahaka in the Ichirema cannot go and live in there? Eh? How dilapidated is in Kwazi house for our HH to fail to go and live in there? And by the way, Nkwazi house was recently, was not too long ago built. Nkwazi house is not as old as the state house itself. You know, the state house that we see when we are passing, that is the old, old house, okay, which she, we inherited from the colonial time. When Kaunda when Kaunda uh, became president, he had to move from Chilenje, going into the state house that we see. And after some time, but after some time, uh, they had to, when Chiluba came, they had to build in Kwazi house. Eh? They had to build in Kwazi house, and the state house we see was changed into offices. Some of the offices where some of these guys are occupying, they were bedrooms. If you see them, they are actually bedrooms. The political house is a bedroom. The, um, uh, um, I mean, which other? Many of the many of the offices up there, they were bedrooms. They had to be changed into offices. So 
if you talk about Nkwazi House is relatively new compared to you know the state house that we see the point i'm trying to make is that it cannot be so inhabitable it cannot be so uh, 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 i don't know if it's an uh, inhabitable just uh, within these few years i don't think so i think uh, a, a humble president and i want to emphasize a humble president can live in that house he can live in that house that is the official house for the president. I know somebody said, no, there is no law which states that uh, the president should live in Inquazi House. Yeah, as much as there is no law, but there is a way that things are done. There are norms that we respect. There are norms that we respect. Eh? There are norms that we respect. So, surely, surely, I mean, President Daka in the Ichilema, if he knew, if he knew where he's going to live, by now, he would have, he would have either moved or they would have told us when he's going to move in there. But up to now, they're just all over. They don't know. They don't know. And you, you, I can assure you, a man who doesn't know where he stays, it, 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 it symbolizes instability even in his head. If you are a person who doesn't know your address, it starts from there. Ask a man, even Kashana, you young ladies, if you ask a man where do you stay, if you hear your man is babbling on where he stays, he can't give you a clear address, then you know there is a problem. A human being a human being who is settled starts by knowing where he stays. He has an address. What is the address of President Haka in the Ichirema? In as far as where he stays, what is his address? What is his address? And right there, you have a problem. Right there, you have a problem. It shows the man is not stable. You need to be stable. You need to know, this is where I'm going to sleep. And when you are sleeping, you are waking up, you are thinking, this is... Now... This man is lost. He is lost. If you talk about our first lady, <laughs> our first lady, she doesn't even have the pride of being a first lady. She doesn't. She doesn't even have a pride of, of being a first lady. Where are you going to see her as a first lady? Where? Where are you going to see? Which is the state house that she can boast of? She still feels a housewife that she was when they were in opposition. I don't think she confidently and feels, and, and feels it that I am the first lady. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because she's still in the same kitchen <laughs> where they were. I mean, there's nothing official about that, that uh, community house. Beautiful as it may be, big as it may be, if we left your chinja according to the norms, I can assure you, much as you praise singers, you would try to justify this one. But I'm telling, I'm telling you, the instability of President Haka in the Hichinema starts from <laughs> his failure to identify his home address. That's where it starts from. So now, guys, now they are lost. They are lost. They are lost. It starts from there. Then when you move President Haka in the Ichlema as the president, President Haka in the Ichlema as the president, the Republican president of this country, you know, you must have a plan on where you are taking your country. You must have a plan, a very clear, clear plan. So, Papa, now quarter. Okay? If you are a visionary leader, you must have, this is, this is what I need. This is how my cabinet should be. This is, these are the, these are the central, these are the uh, permanent secretaries I need. These are the offices I need. If you ask President Haka Inde Hichilema, he's passing right now, you ask him to say, how many ministers do you have? I'm telling you, he would be bubbling. He would not be so sure. He would not be so sure. He would not be so sure. I can assure you that. 
Let alone ask him how many permanent secretaries do you have? He would not tell you. And yet he's the one who is appointing them. Because things have just been, you know, happening, you know, as they go. Eh? Things have just been happening as they go. That's why you have so many of these so-called special duties. Vakawana. Vakawana was failing to, <laughs> uh, uh, to, 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 to explain the jobs of the special duties. It is because the appointing authority doesn't know himself. How do you expect Vakawana eh, at director of information? Eh, even that position. It is a reactive reaction a, 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 a position. It is a reactive position. Because you have put this minister who can't perform. And you have a PSC who can't perform. What do you do? You go and pick a cadre now and give him director. Directors are professionals. Directors are not political appointees. Uh -uh. Eh? How do you put a director, a political appointee? Eh? How? Where? Tell me if that's not being lost. Tell me if that is not pante pante. How a director is supposed to be a professional who rises through ranks? It's a, a director is supposed to be employed through application and interviews. A director is not appointed. You can argue with me, but tell me, where do you see a director appointed by the president? How? It doesn't happen like that. He's a civil servant. But tell me, when you see Wakawana, eh? when you see Vamdala Wakawana, what do you see? You see a civil servant. You see a director in, in Wakawana. Propaganda. Kada, kada, kada. And you are saying, no, we know what we are doing. We know what we are doing. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> welcome to governance. Welcome to governance. Proper. Proper. Lost. Abyss. <laughs> now I'm feeling pervin to guys. Tafili we know. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm, I, I will talk about the economy. But I'm telling you, I want to show you the source of confusion. Then from there, you can talk about, I know, you are my doctors who are protesting, teachers who are protesting. You have been asking me, talk for us, hey, talk for us. Doctors, talk for us. Talk for us. You know, when you are talking, there must be people that you are talking to. And these people must have the disposition to, li to, to listen and be able to act. At the moment, these guys, they don't even know. They are talking about even this employment that you are talking about. The 11 million... <laughs> I don't like to, to touch some of these people. But Vailas Munsha, <laughs> Vailas Munsha is trying too much, too much. To, to, to try and make sense. <laughs> and I'm sure whatever he is, he even beats himself on the chest to say, yeah, I've spoken. Yeah, I've spoken. Eh? I've spoken. I've countered. But really, Munina <laughs> Nemuinsha. Yeah. Ulense Kesha. You are trying so hard to, to put things straight. But Mdara. Now, Let's just, if you were just, if we were to be objective, it doesn't matter which government, even if you were PF, I would have been saying the same thing. This is, this is about me. I'm not saying this because it's UPND. Uh -uh. Even if it was PF, even if it was Edgar Lungo, I would have still spoken. But, you know, Vamunshat, we have a plan. <laughs> we have a plan. Eh? We are going to employ, uh, I don't know, 11,000, 30,000 all those numbers, do you really think those numbers are attainable at this point in time? You think they are attainable? They are not attainable. They are not attainable. They don't even know how they are going to employ them. They don't. Look at the statements that are coming from these people. Look at the statement. Because when you say you want to employ people as a government, what you are supposed to do, the first thing, before you employ as a government, even in, even as a private sec in private sector, the first thing is to create the positions. Mula is first to create the positions. 
You create the positions. After you create the positions, you create the job descriptions. After job descriptions, you attach the budget. You attach the budget. This is how you employ people. And afterwards, you come up with the modalities on how you are going to employ people. But all these, my brothers and sisters, all these numbers that you are hearing, they just came from the minds of an excited government. Because they know when they say we are going to employ, people are going to be excited. And they have said this, but they have locked themselves out. Because they don't know how they are going to go about to employ those people that they are talking about. They don't know. They have no clue. Who was reading that? He has no clue. He has no clue. Nothing. Nothing. They don't have a clue. That is why doctors, teachers, students who, want, who, are, who are saying we want to go to, to, uh, to state house. Maybe you are even wrong. Maybe you should be protesting going to going to going to to community house. Eh? <laughs> because you don't even know where to go, really. How sure are you that Ngamwaku State House Mwala was a president? Because maybe by the time Lindy that devil won't be kunganda. Like me. Ndi kunganda de. And how can the police allow you to see? President Aga in the or how can he have the courage to face you when he doesn't know, when he has no plan, clear plan on how he's going to implement these things? How is he going to meet you? What is he going to tell you? What is he going to tell you? He doesn't even know 